Good day, welcome to the ProCon YouTube channel. My name is Anami, and today I'm going to show you how you can move elements in the frame analysis modeler. So over here I have this just frame example model, and I'm just going to illustrate, let's say I want to move these nodes 21, 22, 23, and 24. I want to move all of them with these beams um, one meter downwards. Okay, so I'm going to do this using the modeler. So here at the top, I'm going to go to the modeler workspace and then you'll see here's a little icon and if i hover over it it says uh, generate or move selected elements so i'm going to click on that and then i have a few options here and it's, i want to move it in linear increments um, along the global axis and then i can also specify if i want to include supports include any loads that are on these beams or remove unused nodes okay so Let's say I want to move this, um, make that zero, zero, and I said I wanted to move it one meter downwards, so let's say minus one meter, and then I'm going to select my elements. So holding in control on my keyboard, I'm selecting these nodes, because I want to move the nodes as well, and I'm selecting my elements. So you see there, just selecting all of this, and then I click on move existing elements or nodes. So I click on that and it's asking me moving elements cannot be undone. Do you want to continue? So I will just say yes. And then it just generates and you can see how it moved all of them one meter downwards. And I can also move them back upwards. So let's say I want to move them two meters upwards. I change that Y increment to two meters. And once again, I'll just go and select these elements along with the notes, so I just need to hold in control on my keyboard and I'm just selecting them. And once again, I click on move existing elements or notes and then once again, just say yes. Okay, you can see that it has moved them upwards. And as it moves them upwards, you can see that it automatically lengthens these beams or these columns as well. And it just, it keeps the connection. So if you want to move something, just remember to select the nodes along with the elements that you are moving. Okay, and you can see in this in this dialog box there are a few other options available as well. You can generate um, nodes, you can mirror elements, and you can change group number of elements too using this these functions. Okay, so that's just the quick tip that I wanted to show today. Uh, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, uh, you can just subscribe to our channel.